Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer. Last time we started uh, attacking the blockade that's uh, on the Palin system in order to find Dr. Monkhouse and we've successfully completed that mission. So let's go and uh, talk to Lynn real quick. Uh, Lynn Murphy, who should be here, except she's at the bar as opposed to the hangar. Ah, there she is. And let's see what she has to say about our completing the first part of our uh, the attacks on the blockade there. Scratch one set of reinforcements, Lynn. Make it, Murphy. Only my close friends call me Lynn. And uh, how do I go about getting close to you? I'm a sucker for love letters. Posted from Kilra. Jeez, you must have a lot of company. No, and I like it that way. Now listen up. We've received a tip that a large scout patrol is approaching our base. They're probably just looking for the first reinforcement wing. But if they come across this base, they'll destroy it. We're not equipped to deal with an assault. Oh, so we just gotta take out some more fighters. Sounds simple enough. I can handle that patrol, no sweat. Where do I find them? They're currently sweeping the Palin system. Intercept and eliminate the reinforcements at NAV-1, assuming you can. Like I said, don't sweat it. I'll handle things on my end. It's your end I'm concerned with. Again with the cheap come-ons. How about a fat lip, mister? Lighten up. I only meant for you to have the money when I get back. I like you, Murphy, but you ain't keeping me up nights. At last, we have something in common. Ah. <laughs> uh... This guy's starting to really, really remind me of Colonel Blair and how he deals with ladies. Uh, anyways, now let's see if there's any missions we can do along the way there. Let's see what we got here. Attack, uh, no. Pirate presence at Natu. No, that's where asteroids are. So no, we're not doing that. <clears throat> Definitely not dealing with asteroids because I hate those stupid things. Okay, nope, nothing there. All right. Let's, uh, let me save real quick, and then we'll be underway. Okay, here we go. All right, just gonna head out there. And just head right over to Nav 1. Get over max speed there. And let's see. Ooh, you know, I kind of done something at Nav 3, uh, possibly. So, yeah, if you're, if you're looking for extra missions to do, Nav 3 and Nav 1 are the way to do it. And scout missions there are good. So, all right, let's head over to Nav 1. See if we can find those enemies. Ah, there they are. Oh, looks like some demons. Yeah, I have plenty of experience dealing with these things. So, this should not be a problem. Okay, so uh, someone was asking me before about... Uh, has been making a comment about me wanting to beef up my guns. And I do plan... How many of them? Three of them? Okay, no problem. Um, I have... I am planning to beef up my guns uh, at some point. That's going to be the next. But I do want to get the repair droid uh, first. Because just, you know... You know, we're going to have to be dealing with asteroids in this system. And I'd much rather have my... Well, uh, ships repaired automatically and save some cash that way than having to deal with... Um, having to make repairs all the time. So... Yeah, I'll get some repair droids, or I'll get a repair droid, and then once that's done, I'll definitely upgrade my guns, because I do eventually want to get four Tachyon guns. Instead of eventually. That'll be coming a little bit later. Okay, come on, Mr. Demon. Yeah, these things are still not hard. Yeah, I tear these things up, yeah. You actually want to use some guns for these, uh, for this wave of demons. I deal with these things enough that, you know... <coughs> Now, this shouldn't be really a problem. Maybe, uh, maybe one missile per demon, if you really want. Or just ram, or just ram into him. Can't knock him away there. We got enough shields to do that. Fire! Come on! Get him! Or did, my, did, my, did my missile already hit? Maybe it did. Oh, this is not good. Yes, that's right, demon. Demon, you're mine. Taste the power of the dragon sword. Oh, wait, wrong game. Did I already make that joke? Probably so. Okay, well, anyways, I'll finish up with these demons, and then I'll be back once I'm done with that. You've seen me do this enough. Alright, and we got him. No problems there. Uh-oh. 
Wait, what's that? Wait a minute. I recognize those ships. That's Centurions. Oh, crap. How many Centurions do we have? Looks like just two. Okay. I can deal with Centurions. Well, actually, these things are pretty tough. So that's why I wanted to keep my missiles going for sure. So that I can, you're going to definitely want to use those against Centurions. Yeah, and here they come. Yeah, this is the same ship that we have. Wait, uh oh. There's four of them. Crap! Okay. Now, Centurions, get behind them and unload missiles. I mean, just go all out. These things are very difficult ships. And the good thing about unloading missiles is that usually it keeps them in a straight path. And if they're in a straight path, they're easier to shoot down. Yeah, so don't be afraid to use all your missiles against these things. These things are a bastard to deal with. They got rear guns, they have very good shields. Yeah, so just missile away, it's totally fine. If you end up using like four missiles per ship, that's that's completely fine. I mean just turn them into it's not good. No, it's not. You wanna try to avoid ramming them too. Because they uh again, since they have good shields, that'll do a that'll be a lot of damage for your uh, shields as well. So avoid ramming if possible. So we get real close. Yeah, if you want to use some guns, you can. And then just fire missiles. Right. Yeah, I've, I've already launched three missiles against this one single centurion. And then if you get and if you're able to get him in a straight line, stay with it. Afterburn, afterburn. Boom! Oh! And shoot him down like that. Yeah, these things suck. I remember trying to do one of these in an attack mission once. And I was like, nope! Not happening. So yeah, three more missiles. Okay, just afterburn after them. Just do whatever you need to do. I mean, just, there's no... I mean, there's just no... You know, do not let up for any reason. Come on. No, it can't end like this. Oh, but I think it can. Boom! Yeah. Centurions? I think not. Only I am qualified to fly a Centurion. Only the great BCS Buster is able to... is qualified to fly a Centurion. Yeah, they got those rear guns, too. I haven't had a chance to show off my rear guns yet. I'll do that, BCS Universe, at some point, I promise. I promise. It was a, it was a definitely a worthwhile purchase. Is a rear gun. Oh, like I said, I'll show it off at some point, but... Not in this mission! Come on... There we go. Now he's online. Boom! And blockade is done. I think we make sure. Okay, now maybe not. Okay, let's head over to Palin just to make sure we got him. So I think we got him, but... Yep, doesn't seem like, seem like there's any enemies here, so... Yeah, the text is different, so we are good to go. Whew! So let's go ahead and head back... Oops, yeah, let's go ahead and head back to uh, the Badger base there. Man, that's a tough one there, BCS Universe. But yeah, just go all out on those Centurions, and you should be okay. Enemy ships? Nope. Not dealing with you. What kind of enemy ships? Oh, just some Talons. Nah, I don't care about that. Your friendly ship. Yeah, I don't, yeah, good to see you there too, buddy. I'm going to let you deal with those Talons, because I really don't feel like it. I just want to land and be done with this. Now entering an automatic landing zone. All right. I still think that thing looks like a science vessel from StarCraft, but okay, let's make sure we got credit for the mission. Hey, all right, we are done. And I think we only have one more mission to do to stop that blockade, but can we take care of it? And what will Dr. Monkhouse have to say for us? Give us some information we need to know? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.